In this video, we will learn one more way to create a dropdown in ESP.NET Core. Here, we will create the dropdown by using an enum. We need to create a dropdown by using enum in ASP.NET Core. Let's open the Visual Studio. In few previous videos, we have covered several ways to create a dropdown in ASP.NET Core. If you want to learn more about the dropdowns, then you can watch the previous videos of this tutorial and I hope you will be able to understand everything about the dropdown in ASP.NET Core. Okay, now here we need to create a dropdown by using an enum. First, let's create an enum over here in this application and for that, let's add a new folder first. enums and let's add a new enum over here let's give it a name language enum let's update this class to the enum let's add few properties over here so suppose i'm writing some language first one is hindi suppose this is the enum that i want to use for the drop down in asp.net core Let's go back to the controller class. Since we are using an enum to create the dropdown property, so we do not need this data over here. We can simply comment this data altogether. Let's comment same thing into the post method as well. Okay, now let's open the model class. Inside this book model, you can notice that we are using this multi language. In the previous video of the tutorial, we have covered multi select value from this dropdown. We will make some changes in this existing property and now we will get the data in form of an enum. So let's update this type to an enum. The name of our enum is language enum. We can update the text of this property as well. Suppose now I want to write language enum. This is just for the identification that we are using enum over here. In general, you will have a normal language property and the type of that language will be language enum but here we have already used this language and there are multiple reference of this language that is why i'm not making any change in this existing property just for the demonstration purpose i am creating a new property over here perfect okay now let's use this language enum onto our view file let's go to the view to open the view you can simply right click onto your action method and click go to view this is the code that we are using to create a drop down into our view file here we need to update the name of our property. Instead of using this multi language, we can simply use language enum. Okay. If you have noticed that we are using ASP items over here, and in this ASP items, we are passing the data in form of viewback.language. Since we do not have any viewback.language data now, so we can remove this altogether. And we need to get the data from an enum. In ASP.NET Core, if you want to work with the enum, then we already have an inbuilt method. So we can access that method by using HTML dot get enum select list. Inside this get enum select list, we need to pass the name of our enum and the name of the enum is language enum. So we can pass it like this. Now you can see that we do not have the reference of this language enum over here in this view. So there are two ways. First one is you can use the namespace over here or the second one is you can write the entire data into our view imports file. Since I want to access this enum only on this single page, so I can write my code over here in this view. So the namespace for this particular enum is webdental.bookstore.enums. So I can write it over here like this. And this time you will notice that we are able to access this language enum over here. Let's use this method and the error is gone. Let's have a look on this get enum select list method. Right click on this one and choose go to definition. This method is available in microsoft.espnetcore.mvc.rend. The return type of this get enum list method is select list item. So ultimately we will be getting a collection of select list item from this get enum select list method. And we have already covered this select list item in previous videos of this tutorial. If we are getting this select list item from our enum, then we will be able to create this drop down automatically into our application. Let's remove this multiple from here. If you want to add the multiple, then you can use this one as well. Okay, so we do not need to make any further change. Let's run this application in debug mode now. Let's click on the add new book link again. And this time you will notice that we are having all the values from our enum. Let's have a look on the HTML as well. In the HTML, you can see that by default, we are getting few values like Hindi is zero. English is one. It means if you are not passing any value to our enum, then by default, the value will be start from zero. 
and 0 1 2 3 we will have all the values in this order let's select a value suppose i want to select english let's click on the add book here we are in the post method and since we are using this language enum here you can see that we are having this english value and it is coming from the enum let's continue perfect it is working fine now let's learn how can we add some other values to our enum here if you want to assign some other value to your language then you can do that easily suppose you want to assign 10 to this hindi 11 let's run this application again so we have the drop down into our form let's open the html this time you will notice that in the value property we are having values 10 11 12 13 and 40 so this is how you can update the values of your properties in enum now what will you do if you want to update this text as well to update the text we simply need to use the display attribute that we are already using into our model so we can use this display over here and this display is available in system.componentmodel.data annotations if you will use the display over here the reference will be added automatically to your application here we can use the name property and inside this name property we can pass the custom name of this property suppose here i'm writing let's do the same to all the values there is no need to make any change into your view file let's run this application in debug mode now click on the add new book again this time you will notice that the text has been updated of your drop down here are the values hindi language english language and these values are coming from the display attribute that we have defined onto our enum let's open the html of this drop down here you can notice that the text has been updated but the value is still same now let's select a value and let's see what will happen into the post method let's choose a value from this drop down suppose i'm using this german language click on the add book over here in this post method you can see that still we are having this German over here in this language enum so this is how you can add custom values to your enum you can update the text of your enum properties and everything will work as expected if you will not select any value over here then you will get an validation error as well let's click on the continue button this time and we are getting this validation error in few previous videos we have covered lots of ways to create this drop down in ASP.NET Core I hope after watching this video you will be able to create the drop down in any situation in any ASP.NET Core web application. Make sure you hit the like button of this video. If you have any questions or query or suggestions, then you can ask me into the comment section of this video. Share this video, subscribe to the channel, 